gig, yeah. Just got finished uh, doing a doing a video podcast with my girl, Rika Sherry. Rika Sherry, man. That woo, she's outspoken, man. She's awesome. That's all I have to say. She is real, real awesome. Cool girl, cool girl. What's up, guys? Lockout man in the truck again. Back again. I am back. What's up? If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and click that all. I, I might have to break. I, I might have to break that down for you guys right quick. I have to break that down. Let me see. So, I'm about to. I, as a matter of fact, I'm about to break it down right now. All right. So this is uh this is this is my girl. Dial face trucker. She made a video this morning called You Will Believe What My DAC Report Says. It was a live feed, a good live feed. And uh, I want to respond to some of the questions that was posted in her live feed. I, I, I know I've written it down somewhere, but I, I, I wanted to respond to some of the questions. And some of the comments that was made in her in her chat uh, live feed today. So as I was saying, let me let me let me let me let me click that. So when I be saying, hit that bell and click that all. Well, when you subscribe, you hit subscribe. Okay, all right. So you hit subscribe, which is like that. I'm subscribed. Then when you hit the bell, it brings up another questionnaire so you can click on none but if you do that what's the point of subscribing i mean if you don't want no notifications then why subscribe right i'm just saying so you don't want that you can click on personalize which you'll get personalized notification i don't know what the hell that means like, what, if I'm personally doing a video for somebody, for you or something like that, how would I How would I do a video for you if I don't know you? So how is that personalized? I don't get it. Somebody explain that to me. You click on all, like that. Once you click all, hopefully YouTube will notify you of all of my videos that is being posted you will either get an email like i do i'm about to you know what i'm about to show you my email right quick i'm about I, look I, I don't mind showing you guys my email i mean it's it's just what i do right it's just what i do uh let's see social okay uh is that okay so this is this is the social email it will send you an email like real world police just uploaded a video law and order just uploaded a video what cultures uploaded a video lockout men is live kitty the trucker she uploaded a video what's going on kitty uh bees no wait uh yeah bees knees Check out that video. Check out that interview coming up. He uploaded a video right across the street. He uploaded a video right here. Uh, my man, Music Trucker, a.k.a. Bandit. So, so I mean, it lets, it lets you know via email and it lets you know through your notification if you have, uh, if you have notifications on, on, uh, on YouTube when... A video pops up so definitely definitely check it out so let's get into this uh let's get into this video man um look at here what she you know what she's going through is her own personal struggles okay it is not for people to come and judge her you don't know her just like you don't know us. You don't know us in the trucking world. We only give you what we want to give you. Only information that we're going to give you is 
what we want to put out there. Now, some some truckers put out a little bit more information than than normal. All right. Me, I'm not going to I'm not going to put out. Uh, I'm not going to put out too much information. All right. I like to keep a little bit to the vest. All right. Just just a little. But just know that I am a totally different person from behind the camera. All right. I'm just saying some people want to be transparent. You know, hey, here I am. Yada, yada, yada. This, that and the third. Me, I don't want to be all that transparent. All right. But she came on her live feed a couple of times to uh, to let you know, to let you guys know of what's going on with her. You know, she has some family issues. She has some uh, she has some financial issues, which she is working on. So keep her in your prayers. And I'm definitely making a make it a make it a make it a prayer for her. But uh, what I want to do is respond to some of these comments. Uh, Spider Eight says, "You can recruit, but it has nothing to do with recruit." It it says you can recruit, but it has to be with recruiting cards. And what he mean by that is, Dowface got got uh got terminated from the company where she was at because of the information she was giving out on youtube uh the company felt some kind of way about her talking about the company and they decided to you know let her go because of it but a lot of and a lot of companies these days now with the exception of a few are frowning upon their drivers talking about their companies in YouTube or in social media period. They don't want they they don't want their company logos or anywhere around your video. They don't want their trucks in the video. They don't want inside of their trucks in the video. They don't want none of that. You know what I'm saying? So definitely find out and I mentioned this before. Definitely find out uh, what's the company's YouTube or social media policy? Now, when it comes to recruiting for that company, yeah, that's what they want you to do. If you out here in the streets, somebody sees your truck, they 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 give you like recruiting cards. They give you they give you a card with your name on there, your truck neck, your truck number on there. And then whoever to call for the uh, recruiting department, they, us drivers would get a referral, what's called a referral bonus, anywhere from $500 to maybe $1,500, depending on who you work for and where you work at. All right. A lot of truck drivers likes to use social media as well as the companies that they drive for you can go online and find their company in facebook you can find their company on youtube you can find their company on twitter you see what i'm saying but as far as your own personal social media goes i think some companies have a problem with that so that's what he means by the recruiting card. So yeah, if you have a recruiting card, definitely uh definitely pass that out. Uh the R says they don't train they didn't train you properly. Or hold on. The R says they they didn't properly train you about how to make a recruiting video. The reason I say that is simply because they should have given you a notice that basically says what their company what their what their company policy well i mean is is there a proper way to make a recruiting video and if there was a proper way to make a recruiting video don't you think they should have they should have like talked to her about it like instead of terminating her shouldn't they just brought her into the into the office and say hey uh i see you trying to recruit for us uh, if you don't mind 
we would like for you to uh, to speak on just these bullet points of the company. Okay. But obviously they didn't. They they didn't do that. They just uplifted her out of the truck and just threw her to the wayside. So properly trained, you know what I'm saying? I I, I don't know. I mean, the only way that a, they, they these companies, this is 2020 now. Just about all trucking companies is on social media and they have they may have somebody watching uh watching the internet all they got to do is type in their trucking trucking company name and then you got tim dick harry mo larry curly john all of them talking about the company whether it's good or bad you see what i'm saying but they all doing it for the referrals period p dot all right will and nay says Good, best decision you made. Stay away from this slave industry. I know for years, and I'm out. Uh, I, you know, it's a decision that a lot of people are gonna have to make when when they decide to either enter the trucking industry or leave the trucking industry, depending on whatever situation that they got going on in their personal lives. Uh, slave industry. I don't know, man. I don't know. Slave is is a hard is a too hard of a word. Um, I know some of the some of these companies could pay a lot better, and some of these companies don't pay what the driver is worth. Some of these companies don't pay us for the sacrifice that we putting in. You got companies that literally tell that that literally tells you. Well, not companies, recruiters that literally tells you you got to work 14 days, 14 days before you get some off time and you only get two days off. You got to work a whole two weeks before you can even relax catch a breather get a haircut i'm just saying i'm just saying you know get a haircut they want you to to literally live breathe and eat which we already do live breathe and eat in this truck before you even see home your family and your kids again slave maybe but to me it's just it's it's a strong word to 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 just say butter pecan says challenge that info on your dac report and then on the on the on the follow up i love says what is a dac report all right so i'm going to answer i love's question and then i'll segue into butter pecan so what is a dac report well, it's simple. I like simple. I don't want to be complicated. I don't want to throw jumbo words at you. I don't want to use the big brain. And I, I, I like simple. Lockout man likes it simple. All right? Keep it simple. I like simple. Anyway, just think of a DAC report as the truck driver's cre uh, credit report. Okay? It's the credit report for truck drivers. Just like a credit report that has all information about you as far as your credit worthiness, a DAC report has everything about a truck driver's worthiness. Uh, all the employment that he that he worked at, uh, the reasons why he left, has all your preventables, non-preventables, uh, your drug, um, your drug testings, all of that. All of that is on your DAC report, all right? So it's just like a truck, it's, it's just like a credit report. That's, that's as simple as I'm gonna keep it, all right? Now, 
challenged the DAT report. Now, Dialface says that she got her DAT report from uh, from this place called Higher Right. Let me see. This place right here, Higher Right. You guys could go to Higher Right right quick. Oh, hold on. You guys could go to Higher Right. You could do back check. You you do background checks. They got services identity checks verifications uh driving records all that investigations resources all of that all of that so you can go to higher right and pull up your dac report now when you at higher right if you see some inconsistencies in your dac report higher right will be the place where you can challenge it just like a credit report you can challenge what's on a credit report, but higher right, uh, you can challenge it, challenge any inconsistencies on that. Uh, let's see, Moze, M-O-Z-E-Z triple -E seven. He says, what, co what company policy did you, what company policy did you sign off on? Something during orientation? Um, you got you doing orientation. I'm not sure that she didn't she she didn't get any information from orientation saying that she couldn't do uh YouTube. Now, when we do YouTube, we're doing YouTube. We this is our channel. This is what we want to do. That don't have nothing to do with the company where you work at. Now, some drivers that comes into YouTube are brand new to driving. They want to document their journey while they're driving, all right? So if any of you new jats that got, like, new YouTube channels and all like that and y'all want some exposure, yo, come on over here to Lockout Men. Lockout Men podcast at gmail.com. Hit me up. Um, doing orientation, that is where you should ask, well, not or, well, orientation too, but uh, during the recruiting phase, you should automatically ask, yo, do y'all have a social media policy? I have a YouTube page and I just want to know what can I say, what can I say, and if I can, you know, uh, display the truck in my videos. Definitely start asking that. That That is a question that I'm going to start asking from now on. I didn't ask it before, but that's a good question to ask. And when you get the orientation, make sure you read the fine print. Read the handbook. They don't give they they don't give you that handbook for nothing. You know, they sometimes they might not even say it in the orientation. It is in the handbook. So when something happened and you go you you go and face safety or or you face uh, discipline action, and you and the first thing that's gonna come out your mouth is, "I didn't know you guys didn't do that." Well, they gonna go right to the handbook. It's right there on page fifty-seven, down at the bottom, paragraph four. No social media. But you wouldn't know that because you didn't read the fine print. You didn't read the handbook. Read. The handbook. I kid you not. It's sometimes it's that thick. U.S. Express handbook was this fucking thick. Now, to be honest with you, I didn't read everything, but I did read enough to know that at that time they didn't have a social media policy. Same thing with J.N.R. Swoogle. Now, their handbook was about this thick. And in that handbook as well, it's, it's nowhere in there that says uh, anything about a social media policy. My company where I'm at now, it's, their handbook is like this, all right? It's, it's in a binder. Binder is about this thick. Well, the binder is this big, and I say maybe the papers, I, I don't know. But same thing with them, it is nowhere in there that says that I can't talk about them or or whatever i just choose not to talk about them all right you guys want to know where i work at and if you're from ohio ohio only 
Ohio only. You can hit me up, and then I'll t I'll talk to you about the company. Uh, I well, I'll I'll give you the phone number so my man could talk to you about the company. See if you're interested in it. All right. CM says, "Hi, I'm new to the channel. Looking to start." trucking but i'm a single mom of an 11 year old son and worry about leaving him any advice well the advice that i can give you um the advice i can give you cm is you gotta have a support system all right luckily for me my son was already grown he he was my son was 18 7 18 17 18 i think but he was already grown when I started trucking five years ago, all right? He was already grown. Uh, at that time, me and his mother separated. Uh, he stays He stays with me. And um, and at that time, you know, my his grandmother is still in the picture. Uh, so he everything was all, everything was all right for him. And I, I didn't have to worry about uh, anything happening to him. But being that you're a single mom of, a, of an 11 year old, yeah. One thing you gotta do is definitely make your son understand that you're gonna be gone for a while, all right? Because there's gonna be, um, there's gonna be homesickness. There's gonna be times where you're gonna be in that truck and you're gonna be like, damn, I wish my, I wish I miss my kid and I, I I miss my kid and this, that, and the third. But you need a support system. That's number one. Uh, maybe you, maybe the boy's father could help out while you're gone. Uh, grandparents could help out when you're gone. Somebody that you can trust like this. I'm, I'm talking like this because we, we talking kids, all right? Somebody you can trust like this that can that can watch your kid while you're while you're going over the road. Uh, other advice that I can give you is keep in contact. Definitely keep in contact. We got we got communications out the ass. We got we got Google Duel. We got we got i we got i uh, i FaceTime or whatever. We got um you can call them on the daily. You know what I'm saying? Call them in the morning. Call them in the evening. Call them at night. Keep the conversation going you know just just video you know video we got the video now we can see each other so definitely um definitely have that number one support system and then number two while you're over the road and to cure homesickness is to keep in contact with uh with your baby boy crazy bubba says so you say that they fire you because they fire you for unsafe driving, but they want loads on time. That's BS. Yeah, yeah. Um, unsafe driving could be anything now. Anything. Uh, recording while you're driving. That's unsafe because they look, they, they seeing that, they saying, well, we see you. We see you. We see how you talking and all like that. And while you talking, you probably might not be focused on the road. But it's like with anything else. You can look down and turn the radio and look up and boom, you're in an accident. Or you could be on the headset. Now, we can't have our phones up against our ear no more. That's, that's a no-no. We can't be texting no more. But now the phones, the smartphones is so so smart that you can just click a button and just talk to the phone and it just speech to text and then you can send it off that way without you without hand, i mean without your hands even touching the phone hands free they want you hands free but now you're doing live feeds i, I think that's what they're talking about you're doing live feeds on youtube you're doing live feeds on on facebook and of course in order to interact man my nose itchy in order to interact with 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 your people you you have to read the comments and that's and that's exactly what they're talking about so don't drive don't record and drive 
uh maybe record roll footage or something like that but don't record yourself and drive or if you do that i i will suggest you not to <laughs> not to post it all right just just keep it to yourself um and yeah that's that's what that's that's what we get paid for we get paid for the loads to get there on time <laughs> that's you know that's that's what they do the real stevie j says i can get the vape community on youtube to help you out if you need it well that's what's up jay i you know i'm sure uh uh dial face trucker appreciate it uh i'm not sure what the vape community well maybe a community of truck drivers that vape i think dial face trucker is one of them so yeah if, if you can do that for definitely man uh keisha key keyshawn keisha key session keisha's keyshation there you go perkins she says hey sorry to hear about your situation but try forklift driving the pay is the pay may be enough to help and get companies hired and and get and some companies hired immediately google employment agencies in your area forklift driving I, i'm going to actually this summer uh cuyahoga uh transportation services the school that i graduated from they offer forklift training and i think i'm going to go ahead and get into that uh get in get into that to you know broaden my experience forklift training i i haven't thought about that i really didn't think that you needed to be trained to drive a forklift but i guess you do <laughs> so but that's something along with my my uh hazmats that i'm going to get this year uh poker and trucking says go to chicago work for russians they pay 1800 to 2200 a week 1099 they hire most drivers no accidents or tickets yeah man chicago i i looked into that and it's a lot of rushing russians russians <laughs> it's a lot of russians that that uh that are higher second chance drivers and uh but the problem the problem that i'm gonna have with the russians is that and I, I know a couple of drivers that that had experience with them. You're going to have to argue for your money sometimes. You know, you let's say you do something extra and you don't get paid for it. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of arguments to to get your money from them. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, that's it, man. Uh, again, dial face trucker. Yo, I'm with you. You was in my prayers. Stay up. Keep your head up. You know what I'm saying? Like Tupac says, keep your head up, girl. It's only going to get better from here. Uh, if you decide to get back into trucking, look local. All right? And it is, po it is a possibility that you can get a local job, that you could be home every day with your, with your kids. All right? Pepsi, Coca-Cola uh amheiser bush those beer trucks now let me those top three that i just mentioned let me explain you will work <laughs> okay don't think that you're just gonna be <laughs> don't think you're just gonna be driving those trucks you will work trust me but you will be home every day i'm, I'm just saying you will be home every day so look into uh something local and uh see if you can uh see if you can use that to your advantage if you're going back into you know into what you said that you'd like to do more power to you on that everybody that's it i'm done if you like this information or if you like something like this i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna probably do this a little bit more you know what i'm saying podcast that's what i do lockout men that's who i am thank you for joining me if you like content like this for more don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that bell for more information
and content. And don't forget to hit the all because what's the point of hitting none? What's the point of subscribing if you're just going to hit none? You look, let me tell you something. Subscribe to me. I'm asking you. I'm not begging you. I'm asking you. Subscribe to me if you like what I got, if you like my content. When you subscribe to me, yo, check me out. Check me out. Okay? Give give me about five, ten minutes of your time. And then after that, you can go go back because I know I know y'all uh your attention span is is low. I get it. Mine is too. But but give me a little bit of time. Let, 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 let's show YouTube that you guys rocking with your boy. Alright? Share the video. If you like it, maybe other people like it. Share it. If you have a if you have a Facebook page or a Facebook group or something like that, I don't care. Sh share my video. See if somebody see if somebody else can use the information that I'm giving for free. For free. You don't have to oh, you don't have to join me. You don't have to pay me a monthly fee. You don't you don't have to call me and and for and get charged. All this is free. So check it out. I'm gone. You guys take it easy. And I'll come back at you with another video. Peace.